how much it was worth, my face was like... That's some good tea. Today what I want to share is my number one tip for finding high profit items when you're at the thrift store or at flea markets or garage sales so that you can make more money when you're reselling them on eBay. So here are five things that I actually bought from the thrift store using this tip in my research. And one of these items was originally worth anywhere between two to three thousand dollars. Can you guess which one? Stick around to find out that and more. What's up fam? My name's Marissa and if you're new around here, we're a family of four who decluttered our entire life, sold it off so we could move overseas where we now live totally debt free. I am passionate about saving money, making money, living minimally, all those things. And I really, really, really love thrifting. So today I want to share with you my number one tip for finding the best items to resell on eBay for high profits. If you're excited to find out how to find the best, most expensive, high profit stuff to sell on eBay, give this video a like, a thumbs up, and if you're interested in knowing how to make more money, save more money, live minimally, go down and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications so you can get all the info that I share hot and fresh. Honestly, I really wanted to take you thrifting with me because we recently moved to Germany. Number one, I'm not super familiar with the thrift stores around here. And number two, I don't want to get arrested. German privacy laws are super strict. I've already been almost arrested once since we moved here and I don't want to get almost arrested again. If you're interested in hearing that story, leave me a comment in the comment section below and I can share it with you. What we're going to do is we're going to go through stuff that I actually bought from thrift stores and I'm going to take you through the process. So this is basically going to be a thrift haul video of stuff that I found at places like Goodwill. And when I share this tip with you, I would say that the first thing you should do is practice in your own home because that way you can get familiar with researching things so that when you're at the thrift store or a flea market or a garage sale estate sale wherever you can quickly figure out what that item is worth and if you should or shouldn't buy time is money and you don't want to waste either so my number one tip for people who are trying to thrift for profit is to use the eBay advanced search app this little sucker is so powerful. You can instantly see what something is worth and calculate your profit margin. It's the best and fastest way to look up something and know should you or should you not buy that. Let's say I was looking up my father's knife set. So I have some old knives from my dad. They're called Cutco Knives White Pearl Knife Set. So they have a white handle. Most of them have a white handle. And I used to have the wooden block which would have increased the value. But when we got ready for our move here, I wasn't too attached to the block and we didn't have a lot of space, so I did let it go. However, that block would have been worth a lot of money. So if you're looking at the historical sale prices, things that have sold, I could probably get maybe, you know, $300, $400 for my dad's old knives. If I had the wooden block, it would be worth even more. Go to the filter and you toggle the button that says sold listings and you can see what stuff has actually sold for. You need to know what people are actually paying. Okay, so you remember the five items that I shared at the beginning of the video. So what I want to do with you now is I want to go through my thrifting haul of those five items and show you how I figured out what they were worth and calculated mm, what my profit margins would be if I decided to sell them. First of all, what we have here is a dress. And when you're looking at clothing, of course you want to be able to look inside and see the brand and the size. And this is a Philip Lim. So when I would be searching this dress, I would call it something like Philip Lim floral dress. And then I look it up and I can see the sale prices. So if I look up Philip Lim floral dress, I can see that brand new this dress was selling like $45, $43, $65. So I think that this could definitely sell $35 with shipping included. 
that's probably what I would list this for. So if I paid total $7 with buying the dress and for the shipping, and I was able to sell it for 35, that's a project profit margin of $28. The next item that you saw, it says on the outside, it's a Nordic wear pan. Some quick research would tell me that this is called the Nordic wear chrysanthemum bunk cake pan. And by the way, chrysanthemum is like super hard to spell. So even though chrysanthemum is like the hardest word ever to spell, I was able to look it up and I can see that pans like this, $25 plus shipping, so $34, but that's with free shipping. So I feel confident that I could sell this for a pretty nice profit. It only cost me a dollar, so that would be a nice flip. And even more, if I could just sell it on Facebook Marketplace, maybe I don't have to pay for shipping and I can get even more money. When I found this, I was actually looking for some bamboo mats or some other kind of chargers because I was trying to get something for some food photography and I found this rolled up bamboo mat. I'm sure nobody else opened it to look at and even if they did, they might not have been too excited about it. But when I opened it, I saw it was full of all these super cool paint brushes and I saw this one especially that stood out. It turns out that this paintbrush is anywhere from $100 to $200. I think it was over $200 on Walmart. And this is an Isabe, 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 I don't know how to say it, number 12 paintbrush. And this is made from Siberian blue squirrel fur. I liked it because I thought it looked like a really cool cal calligraphy brush. Like I said, anywhere retails between 100 to 200 and some dollars. And I was able to find that it had sold on eBay. Some pre-owned ones were selling for anywhere between 40 and $50. Now, I could probably ship this super cheap for two or three bucks. I only paid $2.50 for the whole set because it was on a color day. So considering that this item alone is worth, you know, 40 or $50 on eBay, and then I could also probably sell the other paintbrushes as a bundle of nice paintbrushes. This would also be a nice high profit item to sell. I am going thrift shopping. I love to head to the jacket and coat section. It's women's jackets, coats, and blazers. You can find some really nice stuff. Sometimes it still even has the tags on it, and that's where I found this. A Ralph Lauren purple label. Blazer. Crop top. So the first thing that drew my eye was the crop because crop top stuff has been really popular lately and then after I saw that I felt it and I knew this was super high quality just with one touch I was able to tell. When I saw how much it was worth my face was like Unfortunately, I couldn't find right now any comparable items that have sold recently or for sale, but at the time I did and I was able to see that it was worth anywhere between two and three thousand dollars originally. So I knew that this was going to be a steal. So I paid thirteen dollars only for something that was originally worth two to three thousand dollars. And I do believe that this information is correct because if you go online, to the old, uh, not old navy. If you go online to the Ralph Lauren purple label items and you look through their blazers and you look at the cashmere items, you can see that there's a lot of stuff between two, three, even up to $5,000. I feel confident I could sell this for several hundred dollars. So if you were wondering which item was $2,000 originally, it was the Ralph Lauren cashmere blazer. And the last item that I have is kind of like a mystery item. So I got this little teacup for 50 cents at Goodwill. I just thought it looked really cool. Like I love the color. I love the crackle finish. And then it's so funny because after I brought it home, I saw an article online about this crazy old Chinese brush paint dipping bowl that sold for like $38 million in Hong Kong. And it looks exactly like this. 
like my cup. Uh, I said to my husband, do you think that we have a, a $38 million teacup set here? I don't know. I still haven't figured it out. If you're a Chinese antiquities expert, what do you think? Is this worth $38 million? Call me if it is. Use the advanced search function and immediately calculate what your profit margin is going to be based on what you're paying and what you might have to pay for shipping. I actually have a checklist if you're just getting started on eBay and you need a little bit more help with knowing how to list items online. I've got a free printable eBay checklist that you can grab. I will put the link for it down in the description below and you can grab that. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you back here again soon.